Okay, we're gonna test this necklace that I have on, which is amazing. And some other necklaces from my 344 pound bulk buy that I bought. We are going to test some of the items that she had in the gemstone box. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bola Buddies. So um, we're going to do some gemstone testing. We're going to start with this beauty right here. Um, let me move that out of the way so you guys can really look at this. It is beautiful. I have no idea what it is, if it's anything, but I absolutely think it's gorgeous. I mean, these stones are nothing to joke about. So I'm really hoping it's like something fancy. But, um, so all of the items that we're gonna test came out of the bulk buy, the 344 pounds. And if you guys missed my video, the one where I found diamonds, the diamonds did not come from this lot. But um, I pick stuff up like at thrift stores and garage sales and stuff like that. That's where those came from. But this is going to be testing items from the um, 344 pounds to see if I have any gemstones. Okay, so I think I know it says 9 to 5. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to show it to you. I don't know how to get it to focus. Yep, 9 to 5. You see it right there? And I think it says lug on this side. So I don't know if that's like a vintage clasp or not, or what this is, but let's test it. I mean, who knows? All right, so we've got my Presidium Gemstone Tester 2, or Gem Tester 2, I guess I should say. So you have to make sure it's calibrated. So you take that and you put it on here and you push down and it should go not that far. I'm not in the middle. Whoops. Let's try that again. That's weird. Oh, maybe I can't be touching. Okay, so it's a little bit touchy. All right, but it's in the red. And then we're going to do the glass, and it should be in the red there. Okay, so... Again, I know absolutely nothing about gemstones. I'm gonna be pulling them out of the box of the items that um, the gal that I purchased them from, she had one of the box marks marked gemstones. So this, I'm just gonna, I guess, put it on here and see what we get. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to, um, let's see, okay. I want to make sure that you guys can see. All right, so it says, well, that's the thing that confuses me. I don't know, I'm gonna need you guys to help me. I'm gonna do it again here. It's definitely a gemstone. I need to look up what, what things are green. What stones are green? So I guess I could get on my phone and Google green stones because it's on the one that says quartz, amethyst, and citrine. And then whatever that C word is, cyprase, emerald, and nephrite, tanzanite, aqua, garnet, tourmaline. It's like in every single one of those. Well, oh, okay, now what's it doing? It's moving. What's citrine? I'm gonna look up citrine. Or I'm gonna look up, uh, I can't use my phone, I'm using my phone to record. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do that later. Let's do this stone that's more of a white color and just see if it, what it reads. It's not, it's still green, but, oh, it's slippery. So now it's not going as far, so I wonder I feel like it's on the one 
Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do spend the whole video just on one necklace. Let's see what this one is. says more green. All right. So I need to look up green stones, but it is definitely something. And look at the size of these balls. Is that beautiful or what? I mean, I might have a real treasure here. And she felt like this was something special, but um, I don't know, she just, she sold it all to me as a lot. And if you guys haven't seen the video of how much I paid for everything, go check it out. Okay, this next piece is beautiful also. Um, it's kind of like uh, hammered, because you can see on the inside. I can't find any markings on it but um, it's really, really pretty. So again, I'm pulling this out of the box that says stones. So purple would be amethyst. That's my birthstone. So let's see what we get here. I'm trying to do it by using the camera. That just will not work. Hmm, it's not quite making it to the amethyst. Let's try it again. So what else is purple? Again, I am not much of a uh, gemstone. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just say that. So when I said we're going to do this together, I was serious. So maybe we're only going to test like a handful of pieces and then Maybe I'll look some stuff up and do like a follow-up in the same video. Would that be helpful? I don't know, give me your feedback. So this piece oops, is really pretty. Um, it is cold. It, um, and I don't know if this tests for everything. It, it's marked Japan here on the side. It's marked Japan, but that's all it's marked. I do believe this is vintage because of the clasp. I'm not 100% sure, but that's my my guess. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know. I mean, we can stick the gemstone tester on there and just see what happens. The more I hold it, it doesn't feel as cold. But um, let's just see what it says when we do this. Well, oops, it's not glass, I wouldn't think. Maybe it is. Huh, okay, it's saying glass. Does that look like glass to you guys? It doesn't really look like glass to me. Okay, so the other item it was with and in, in the bag were these. And they are knotted in between, which I have heard that is a good sign. But the only way I know to test pearls is to bite them. And I'm not doing that. Sorry. Okay. This one, again, also is marked Japan. And it's a vintage clasp. And when you pull it out, it is hooked in there. So, I don't know. I'm guessing that's good. I mean, let's just see. I, I don't know. It'll be fun to just test it, okay? So, I mean, I'm guessing it wouldn't. Oh my gosh, it's too slippery. Let me try and set it down here and do it. I mean, it's moving a little bit, but it's not, it's not hitting the glass. So, I don't know. These might be pearls. Is there any way to test pearls besides with your teeth? Uh, let's see. Let's pull out this piece. So, let's look at this. Um, they're like pink, kind of. They're really pretty. Uh, it also has a vintage clasp on it. It is broken. Um, off the one side, but it has that same, um, and it's got 
some numbers in here. Uh, let me see, I can't remember. I looked at it right before the video because I pulled out a few things that I was gonna look at just so I could have a little bit of information. It looks like it says one four dash two o two maybe or I don't know, it's hard to see. 204, I don't know. It's got some numbers, maybe that's like a patent, but it's it's really pretty and it's cold. But um, I guess we can just see what happens here. Um, whoa, can't, it's so hard to get it on there. All right, so. Again, it's in several places, which just really confuses me. So I'm gonna have to look up each one of these uh, and see what they pull up. So we're gonna make that part of this video. So I'm not gonna show a whole bunch because I don't wanna get um, too confused. All right, this piece is really, really pretty. Um, oh, I forget what that's called. The shell. Um, oh, help me out. Am, oh, abalone. Is it abalone? Let me get this out of the way. I think that's abalone, maybe. You know what I never did? I never turned my ring light on. I'm such a ding dong. Does that help? Oh my goodness. I think it does. Maybe it's too much. I can't believe I forgot to turn on my ring light. But it is holding my phone. That's making it. So I can turn it different ways. I don't know if that's like too much. So look how pretty that is. It's like kind of given like that ring. So I don't know if that's these pieces are abalone or not. Um, let's Let's test a few of these and just see what we get. They are very cold. Um, so let's do this big chunky one here. It's something. So I need to get educated on what these stones, like the different colors represent. Let's do this one right here. Oh, okay. moving on me quartz amethyst or citrine I think I'm saying that right who knows uh, okay so this is the one that I think is the abalone so it should I don't know what it'll do it's registering that's weird uh, let's see what this green one does okay <gasps> you guys are gonna be like She's not helping us learn. So I wonder if these are like all in the same family, but are different colors. Okay, so this one's going. Oh. Hmm. See, that one's on. It's in two. That's where it's confusing. It's like in between on the bars of different things. Um. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely, look how pretty this is. Look at that. I wonder if it's better if I turn the light off. Let me try and turn it off. Look, you can like really see the detail if I turn it off. How pretty is that? It's got like a indentation or a flat spot right there. So yeah, turn it back on. All right, so you guys can help me out if you want. Um, to do that, just put like, if it's at 14 minutes and 20 seconds, put 14 um, colon, the cat's eye symbol, and then like 20 seconds or whatever it's at. And then you can say, oh, that's this. And you can help me, help us learn, help everyone learn. All right, let's grab one more. All right, let's look at this one. 
this, I don't, I don't believe it's vintage. I don't, because it, it does have like the old style class, but it might be like a reproduction. It's not marked anything. Um, it does have this tag on it and it says 55. I can't tell what it says underneath that. It looks like 25 was changed to 55. I don't know. But anyway, these stones are cold. I'm guessing this is like a, some sort of rock. Maybe, I don't know. I didn't want to tell you what I think because I'm probably wrong. But let's just see if it registers on the, the tester here. Hmm. So it's under glass, but that's definitely not glass, right? I mean, that's some sort of stone. I don't know. I thought this would be easier to understand. <laughs> like, they make it look so easy on the YouTube videos I've watched. All right, let's see. All right, this one's still in the bag. So let's pull it out and check it out. Okay, so... This one doesn't seem like anything fancy to me. Here's the clasp. Is that marked? Oh, it is. Um, let me get my loop and see what it says. Nope, not marked. It just kind of looks like it gives that appearance, but it's not. Okay. So it's a green stone. I don't know if it's just glass or what it's going to be. So let's check. Let's see what it is. All right. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm like. All right. So it's a stone. Oh, why does it keep going up? That's odd. Let's try again. Let's try this one. So, so far the gal that sold me these has been correct in saying that these items are stones. And this is probably why she sold it all and didn't mess with it because it's really like hard work to try and figure out what each thing is. Okay, don't know. But it's something, so that's good news. Let's test one of these uh, little beads in between, which I'm guessing is just going to be like plastic or glass. Yeah, it's just glass. So you can see what it does if it's glass. It says glass. And I don't know what this is. It's nothing. It's not registering. So you can see there. So the green stone is something. All right, let's do one more. I just want to keep going. All right, here's another pink one. Um, and it it does not have like a clasp or anything. It doesn't seem to be like on an expensive, sorry, that's kind of blurry, an expensive uh, string or anything like that. So perhaps this is just glass maybe? No. Yes. Oh, my pen went off. Okay, let's try again. Interesting. What is pink? Oh, now it's going down. I'm having trouble holding it uh, flat. I mean, it is really cold. Okay. Try another one. Was this machine worth $350? I think that's how much it was. <laughs> oh boy. This is why I've never sold jewelry is because it's really difficult. It keeps going back down to glass. So this one might be glass. It's still pretty. But I, I don't know. I'm just not getting a definite answer. So what do you guys think? Let's try it once more. It's 
like it goes up. Now it's stuck. All right, I'm gonna have to look up pink stone and see what we get. All right, well, there you have it. We're gonna stop here because we are 20 minutes in and I want to go and look up what each of these, uh, each of these items mean, like color-wise, what pops up, and maybe that'll help me because right now I'm not getting a definite answer for anything. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.